Oh, oh, I turned it on. Oh, so. <laughs> Hello, dears. How are you today? Good, good. You see, I pretended I heard you say that you were fine. Because if I don't, I'm, I'm just talking to myself. And it's so strange. Well, I do talk to myself a lot. But not when I'm looking at myself. Well, when I'm looking in the mirror. But then I'm usually saying, good Lord, who are you? And how did you get in my bathroom? Well, oh, I should introduce myself. But I can't give you my real name. I keep hearing about identity theft online. And if I give you my real name and my real identity, somebody might steal it, mightn't they? So I'll think of another name. What's my favorite? Oh, I know. Serena. Isn't that lovely? I do like that name. So Serena it is. Okay. Well, what I wanted to talk about was with all of this time we've spent under house arrest, a lot of people have come back to discovering the fun and amusement of basic things, like baking. More people are baking right now, I think, than have ever done so. It is so nice to pull something fragrant and warm out of the oven, you know that you made it yourself. Let me show you what I made this morning. Oh, I thought I had it right here. I'll be right back, don't go away. Look at this, a knife pan of cookies. They look like peanut butter cookies. They're really just sugar cookies. That it, I guess I should have taken them out a little earlier. But so nice to have that. Something you've made yourself. Other things people are making themselves. People are taking up knitting and crocheting. Now, I remember the first garment I knitted. Oh goodness, I was young. I was expecting our first child and it was for my husband. I was on maternity leave and I had to find something to do while I was sitting around like a beached whale. Knitting was just the thing. Well, I didn't know at the time that a full long sleeve crew neck cable knit sweater was not really a beginner project, but it came out very well. It was just very, very nicely done. Unfortunately, it was too small for my husband. I didn't realize that that business they tell you about checking your gauge before you continue is, <laughs> you really need to check your gauge. So he never did get to wear it. But I have taken up crochet myself now. Let me show you something. You know, there's there's lots of videos on, on online for learning how to crochet if you get interested. And there's lots of beginner projects. This one is a very simple thing. It's meant to, it's meant to use up bits of yarn. It's, it's supposed to be a dishcloth. I don't see how this could be a dishcloth. I don't think it's really a dishcloth to you, but, and it's, it's not really supposed to look quite like this. It's, it's supposed to be flatter around the edges. It, it doesn't sit right, so I have no idea what to do with it. But it was a good practice program. Oh, I'll show you something else. It's in here somewhere. There it is. I started making... I think this was last year. I started making a lace vest for myself. Isn't that pretty? It's a little complicated though. I'll show you something that I finished. Here it is. Oh, isn't this cute? It's a little bowl. You can make them in different sizes. It's, it's supposed to be, uh, this looks like, it's a little, this one's a little limp. It's supposed to be stiffer and stand up straighter. Yes, well, you get the idea. 
So there it is. There's so many fine things you can do to use up your time productively when you are stuck at home. And of course, it really passes the time for those of us who have lots of hours to fill. Well, that's it for now, dears. Cheers. <laughs>